Hello there, so I just finished up doing a TSI trans brake, not the TCI, the TSI trans brake that you can get on like eBay, Amazon, that thing's in here. So what I'm gonna do now, there's not really any good videos going through step by step how to install it. So I did record some other footage of the whole transmission rebuild with the trans brake, but I want to do one dedicated to just the trans brake instructions. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna go through all the instructions, show all the steps, and hopefully you guys will get a little bit of a better understanding of what it all looks like. My regular viewers have seen this whole process already, so it's more for new people or people that are looking specifically for those instructions. But if you're new to the channel and this is what brought you here, please consider telling others about how terrible this video is. So let's get started. I did already take some of the pump bolts out. These are just a 13 millimeter head bolt. There's six of them. I'm gonna pull these out and I'll set them down and the Pump's probably going to be a little bit difficult to get out, so right away I'm going to go to the the pan. We'll take the pan bolts off. Right off. That was pretty good. And then I'm going to go take the filter off. And this filter has kind of a weird looking little long guy like this. And then you can. Oh. Next, you can pull this little pickup tube off. And you're gonna to wanna to watch this part here because when you put this back together, there's this little detent spring. That's what this is. So when you shift, it connects inside there. And when you put this together, this part has to be inside of this manual valve there. So we'll put that off to the side and then we'll get the rest of them off. So I'm going to release the valve body and I do have these two ports right here. So we're going to pull this thing over, set it off to the side and then we'll get the, the gasket off. The separator plate came with it. We're just going to try to get this gasket off as clean as we can. So with the trans brake, some of those check balls are going to be removed or non-existent. I'll have to verify with the instructions, but something happens with those. The guts out. I think I'll probably take this section off. All right. There we go. All right. This can come out. There's a spring inside of here. This I'm gonna pull off, just a little spade connector. Use that to trigger the trans brake. I'll get my magnet and pull the check balls out. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, just gonna leave these stuck to the magnet and then I'll put the magnet in the pan. So what we're gonna have here is this bolt right here is connected to the center support, so that's gonna have to come out. That should be like a 3 8 12 point. So this one here was 3 8 12 point. Uh, the case was a little bit mushroomed out though, so it was tough to get out. So this is gonna be for the center support, and it, this is also a lube hole too. So there's gonna be a lubrication hole in there, so don't lose that thing. And we should be good to uh, start working on getting the pump out. I don't see it anywhere. Can you find it? You find it. I need it. Okay. It was under the car. It was under the car. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this pry bar behind this. Down here, there's a little port inside there. You can see the part of the pump. I start to pry away at this thing, and then get the pump off. And then now we're ready to start pulling the guts. What I'm gonna do is. I'm going to pull everything apart and then set it on the table exactly how I pull it out. So it's all in order when I pull it out. Input shaft and forward drum is going to be all connected. Leave it just like it came out. So then we're going to pull the direct drum out. This one's a little tricky. You're going to grab it like that with your fingers. And want to be careful because there's going to be some 
washers in there. So I'm going to try to keep these exactly like they are and make sure I'm not losing anything here. And next we're going to pull this band out. And then this, this is going to be the intermediate snap ring. All right, so next in these steps, I'm going to be removing the intermediate clutches and center support. If you're not doing a full rebuild, you wouldn't have to do this stuff to do the trans brake. So you can get to the second ceiling ring on the center support from this step right here. But if you were going to be doing a full rebuild, just go ahead and, and follow these steps. Which, that's fine. It might have just rotated as it was... As it was uh, as it was living, I'm gonna pull this out, and then we should be able to pull the intermediate clutches out of here. And then now we have another another snap ring. It's gonna be a little tricky. All right, like the center support snap ring. So this one actually has a beveled edge on it. I don't know if you can see that. But this edge is beveled. That edge is, top, is flat on the bottom, and then the top is beveled. That is going to be your center support snap ring. So now this whole center support section, you should be able to grab it and just yank it out. And see those three holes right there? These are lubrication holes, or fluid holes. And that is that bolt that I pulled out before. So if that, you don't take that bolt out, you're not going to be able to get the center support out and there's also another washer down there like a thrust washer you can see like brown inside there I'm gonna make sure I don't lose that thing so next thing we have to do is the center support I'm also part of my trans brake because we're dual feeding here is removing this ceiling ring so that center middle ceiling ring is removed now we're gonna put this thing down in there there's three holes, and you're going to line that up with the case. And then you might have to rotate the output shaft to get it to drop down. Now what you're going to want to do is check to make sure that this center support is lined up with these holes. I'm going to rotate the output shaft, see how it dropped down, and now the holes are lined up. So next I'm going to start working on getting the piston and everything out of here. So we're going to start by taking this snap ring off. So we can get all the, the plate and the clutches out. And this top thick plate will come out. This plate. And then all the clutches and steel will come out. So we have to press down all these springs tape to take the snap ring off. And then that whole assembly comes out. Is tighten this. And this is a little bit sketch master, but some of you guys, this might be reality for you if you're doing this and don't want to buy tools. So, so now I'm just gonna pop snap ring off. That just popped off. So that's coming out. And now we can pull the piston out. Get that guy out of there and then we should be able to twist and pull this piston out. It's gonna be some suction. There's fluid and stuff in there. Next thing we're gonna be doing, because this is gonna be dual fed, we're gonna take this center lip seal here, the one that just goes around this ring, and we're taking that off. While we got everything out is I'm gonna be drilling uh, like a 60 thousandths hole, bleed hole, down here. And this is part of the dual feed mod, and uh, it's required in the trans brake instructions. So basically what that does, I believe it, it prevents like centrifugal apply of the piston if there's fluid inside of there um, and it's spinning really fast, it won't apply the piston when it's not supposed to be applied and it will vent quicker when you release the clutches. So the fluid will vent quicker out of that hole. So I'm just gonna start here. I got a 60, I think it's like a 60 thousandths bit. And I'm just gonna go drill away, but I'm gonna do it real slow so I don't break this bit because I don't wanna get the bit stuck in there. So I'm just really gonna take my time on it. I'm probably not gonna fill the whole, film the whole thing or I'll come back when I'm done drilling it. But, so let's do that. All right, so that really wasn't so bad. So here's the bit. 
can see that's how it came through the drum. I did select this spot here because there would be a little bit less material to work through and it ended up popping through really nice. I took a piece of three inch exhaust tubing and cut it, split it open, and now I can use the drill press to compress this whole thing. Uh, missing the thing that I left on the table, guys. Silly boy. Yeah, so there we go. Direct drum's done, let's put it in. Just gonna grab it like this. Have to kind of shimmy it, shimmy it down till we hear it metal on metal. That sounds like metal on metal. There we go. So that's seated. Direct drums in. There we go. Now it's in. So next we do pump gasket and pump. Okay, so before I do the pump, I put the center support bolt in just to make sure everything is in the right position. Like if that's not seated right, then it's gonna push everything forward a little bit. So got that in there, made sure that's good and tight. Put the pump gasket on. I did take some assembly lube and stick it on the back side of the gasket just so when I stick this thing down, it doesn't wanna move around on me. I'm gonna put some assembly lube around the Ceiling rings here, just kind of get some some lube on it. I'll put it down over the top. I'm just going to kind of eyeball the holes as I drop it down. I want to say these things are like 18 foot pounds. All right, next we're gonna be doing the rear servo. So this section's gonna come out, reuse all the stock springs, but this seal's gonna come off, this seal's gonna come off, and then we reinstall it. So now I'm gonna put this thing in here, like that. Servo is down below the surface there. And you can put the servo cover on and put the bolts in. Well guys, so now that we got this on, we're gonna be taking this little guy out of here. There's three little tabs on there. I just broke them off. Um, well, they broke themselves off as soon as I pushed on them, they snapped off. So this is gonna come out. <clears throat> the new one that is provided with the trans brake kit is going to go in and then this is going to be your wire connection for the trans brake solenoid. So I'm just gonna do this, stick this thing in there, and simple as that. Uh, just remember to put the O-ring on there. I wiggled this thing, remembered, uh, I felt it was a little loose. Uh, it doesn't have the O-ring on it, so make sure you take the O-ring off of the old one and put it on there. So I almost, I almost missed that. I'm just gonna stuff this thing right back in there. Don't want it to leak. It does use a stock modulator valve that says and the instructions should not be modified in any way. So if you know you modified it, I mean, I pulled it out and inspected it. There wasn't any like grinding marks or anything weird, but it does come with this plug right there. So this plug is gonna go in. I did put some assembly lube on the plug. There's an O-ring inside there. And then this thing is gonna go on here and hold the plug in. This is going to be replacing your vacuum modulator. This would normally go inside there. You take that off, put the plug on, 
Tighten that down. There you go. And this section on the back for the governor, this is going to be left out. So the valve body doesn't have the governor lubrication tubes. So we're just going to leave the governor out and put the plate back on. And we'll call it a day. All right, so here is the valve body and it has this separate removable section here and valve body comes apart from the separator plate there is no gaskets with this kit it just has the aluminum separator plate and it does come with this little check ball right here so i'm going to put some assembly lube on the check ball just so it's a little bit sticky and roll around when i flip it over so there's this little you can see that it's kind of beveled for the ball on both sides. So I'm going to put that guy in there and I just, I'm going to kind of stick it there. So just like that, so it doesn't move around. Like when I flip it upside down, shouldn't really be, be a big deal because the separator plate's going to go right on top of it. I'll probably do the same thing. Let's do this with some assembly loop. We'll just goober it on there. Just so it, just so it sticks, doesn't slide around. It's kind of nice. It's good, good for that. So get this thing nice and stuck down. Flip her over. This is going to go on top of here, and then the manual valve goes inside here. I did assembly lube this already, so this thing moves freely, and then we should be ready to put it on top. All right, so it does recommend in the instructions going over this with like a whetstone or a flat file. I don't feel any burrs or anything, so I'm not really going to worry about it. But it doesn't use gaskets, so I think it's relying on the softness of the aluminum to kind of take up any high spots or anything, so that's why it recommends the filing. So let's just put this little guy on over like this. We'll get it lined up as best we can. Very important to make sure that the shifter selector is inside of the manual valve. Just like any other transmission build, anytime you do the valve body, always make sure that that manual valve is inside the little selector. All right, so that looks pretty close. All the holes look lined up. Set this on top. We'll start putting the bolts in. All right, so the, the orientation of the bolts is a little bit odd. You have three long bolts and five short bolts that have the 12 point head on them. So the short ones go here in this section of the valve body. The longer ones go here to hold the detent down and then here and here to hold the shift solenoid on there. So this is gonna go on top of here. You're gonna have long, 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 and then these are all short on this side here. So before I tighten this down, I'm gonna pull this back off because you also have this little guy right here, this Allen head that goes underneath for clearance. So we'll tighten this guy down. Put this guy on here. I did already put the terminals on. I wanted to put the terminals on before I put this down. So I'm gonna put this wire over here to the pass-through connector and then I can just select kind of whatever whatever area I want to put this thing so maybe we'll just put it right on this guy right over here we'll start taking these down so I'll kind of snug each one individually
Ini semua kita kirim. So that should be should be good. So we got the shifter selector. Seems like it's working fine. Moves the manual valve, so that's park right there. Park. Got the wires. All good in there. If you're wondering what this extra th threaded spot is for, that should be for our filter. So that's gonna be the, the filter section, the filter holder. So yeah, there you go. So we're gonna apply power here. It's grounded to the case, activates the trans brake selenide. And then you got some launchy launch. All right, next we got the pan gasket. We'll put the pan gasket on. And I think you guys know the rest from here. We just throw the pan on, tighten the bolts. All done. All righty, fellers. So that's about it. Pan's on. Everything's good. Trans brake is in there. It'll be fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. There's a thumb.